Not much going on. Cow catching for a dollar. If you have loose or hard to handle cattle, give me a call. I can also doctor from horseback. I use dogs and horses. No job too big or small. References available. <laughs> All right. Let's get a little cow catching on. I want to get in the cow catching game. Is there some money in this? <laughs> I don't know where this one's going, but this is for you, Mike. We're in Valpo, and we're going to do a little cow catching. Do 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 do. Cow catching. Catching cows. Catching. Uh oh. Hey, buddy, how are you? Pretty good. How's it going? Damn, it sounds windy out there. Oh, it is. You out on the horse? No, not right now. Oh, what, are you, what are you doing? Bringing one in. Oh, bringing one in? Yeah. Hey, uh, what do you charge to catch some cows? Uh, it depends on the situation. Why? What you got? Okay, because my grandfather has a small little ranch. He's got about 12 cows, but they, they get out all the time, and then he calls me in a panic, and I have to drive. Uh, I, I'm not, where, where at? Uh, he's like, where right, at? he's in, uh, he's about, uh, it's about 15 miles, like, north of Valpo. Yeah, uh, it'd probably be, uh, how many have you got, man? He's got 12, but they don't always get out. Yeah. A couple of them get out. He's got a couple of black ones that are fast as shit. Um, I mean. You charge by the cow or how does it work or by your time or? Yeah, it just depends. I mean, it starts out at like 150 a day. Okay. Here, dog. Hey, come here. Oh, you're a dog but, catcher. Uh, no, my dog is barking at a cow out here. Oh, he's. Catch dogs. Sorry, I got him around, <laughs> but, uh. He's doing a good job. Okay, so maybe like 150. Yeah, that starts at 150. Um, but yeah, uh, all right. If yeah. it's just right here in Valpo. Yeah, yeah, it's it's not far, but he he's just a little ranch, and I don't think he, he just always calls me in a. He pen. just wants some pen for a horse. Yeah, so but I can't really help him. I don't know. I don't even know how to ride a horse. I don't have a dog. I'm just yeah. his grandson that you know. I just come over there and just yell at him, and I shine my iPhone light. <laughs> I, I thought my yeah. iPhone light would work. Cows don't give a shit about the light, so. What are they? Just uh, beef cows. Yeah, I don't know. They're just cows. I don't. I don't know anything. It's we're just waiting for them yeah. to, to pass away so we can sell the land. Honestly, Get, there's a, oh, lot, really? a lot of money to be made on that land, is what I'm told. So, we huh. we don't want him to die. But if he does, I'll probably be shopping for a Ferrari. <laughs> but that's just between wow. me and you. I didn't. I didn't mean yeah. to say that out loud. No. But, uh, yeah. But in but in the meantime, uh, next time one of those cows get out, I'm saving your number. Uh, my buddy yeah. e emailed me your ad on Craigslist, and I was thinking I need to get ahead of this. You know, instead of freaking out next time he calls me, now I got your number, and now I kind of know what what we're looking to to pay. So I'll, I'll tell my sister. Yeah, it's not. It's just right here in Valpo. I want to get you ahead. Okay. Have you? Is it? Do they ever get crazy or kick you or anything? Oh yeah, they can get western for sure. But I yeah, mean, I mean, I used to. I can't handle anything. Yeah, <laughs> really. I yeah, mean, you guys. We try to use the horses so we don't have to. Yeah. Yeah. The horse. The horse kind of protects you from really getting beat up too much. Usually, I was getting them tied down. Yeah, I was visiting my family one time in Wyoming, and we had to uh, brand the cattle. You ever done that? Oh, I think I lost you. All right. No, I'm well, <laughs> you were right, Mike. We're just... <laughs> oh, he's calling me back. No worries. Hello? Sorry about that. Oh, sorry, man. If you're working, I don't want to interrupt a man when he's no, working. No, I'm not. Um, no. Yeah, so I'm looking at the pictures. Look like you're good at catching cows, so... I'm yeah. gonna. You good with the old lasso? It looks like. Yeah, I can. I mean, I try, if I don't have to rope them, I won't. But What's your horse's name? Oh, I got several horses. I got uh, Gus Woodrow. I got Shorty. Wow. Then I got uh, Apache. I got what? Old. How do you learn to be a cow catcher? Um, from I just from being around other guys and doctoring sick cows. Uh huh. Uh, oh, you're also a doctor? No, I'm not a doctor, but like cows get sick and cows get sick and yeah. it's just kind of 
I think one of his, an old, old I think, way to do it. But. I think one of his couts has gout because it bar- it can barely walk on its like front right foot. Mine doesn't need its feet trimmed. Sometimes yeah. we rope them and we just trim their feet. That's what he. That's what my <laughs> grandfather said. But I said I think it's gout. Um, yeah, it's probably not gout if it's still moving, but it could be. Yeah, or maybe he just sprained his ankle or something. Well, all right. They get I, hoof rot. Oh, uh, I didn't think about that. Another hoof. thing, and it could be especially this time of year when it gets wet. Uh huh. It's like it's a the like old, a fungus in there, and the old, it just makes him lame like that. So yeah, he's pretty lame. Well, okay. What's your name, bud? Matt Walzer. Matt. All right, Matty. I'll uh. I'm going to save your number, and the next time we have something go wrong, I'm going to call you, and then I'll also have you look at that lame cow's foot, and maybe you can uh, help him with that too. All right. All right, Matt. Have a good day, man. Thank you. All right. I love you, buddy. (laughs) It's Matt out here.